All right, so don't you just wish that cybersecurity had one clear direction or path? Okay, this thing better run. Oh my goodness. Well, it doesn't. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing some different types of practical application platforms or strategies that you can use throughout your learning journey. Was that a good intro? I don't really know. Hello everyone, Greg Collins here. Here are the three strategies. If you could care less about my commentary, I'm gonna be expanding a little bit more detail on the elements and reasons why I have picked out these three methods or strategies. So if you don't really care, they're up on the screen here. <laughs> To get started is hands-on practical project platforms. There are a lot of hands-on training platforms that have emerged throughout the last couple of years. I'll be reviewing a couple of them that I highly recommend, both offensive and defensive side. These training platforms usually are hosted out on the cloud, right? You can virtually remote into uh, different environments and understand practical processes, work with different machines, and there's all kinds of different labs, I guess, out there. It's a great first step to get started because it's not just writing down notes, but it's working with modern tools and just understanding uh, different thought processes as you walk through a lab. If you're interested in getting started in one of these, here are some that I recommend. For offensive side, Red Team, there's Hack the Box, which is very well known. Also try Hack Me, which is also a very well known platform. And there is Volen Hub, where you can download virtual machines, look at write-ups. If you're more interested on the defensive side, you can take a look at Security Blue Team, Range Force, or Let's Defend. The importance is getting hands-on demonstrations and walking through particular processes. It's all very general, I know that I'm saying this, but go take a look at any of those platforms. I think they all have freemium or very entry-level type versions that you can take a look at. I have personally used a couple of these and I'm gonna continue to use them. Next is practical project plans or project plan developments that you can either work with a team or yourself. Now this is primarily the way that I learn cybersecurity or that I apply my knowledge in cybersecurity. I like to develop different environments. That's just how I learn. I like to go through the creation process from the ground up. You know, unlike something like a hands-on practical training platform, you are able to show these projects to different people and it's something that you get to create throughout the process. Now you've seen all kinds of projects that I've done on this channel, and there are many different ways that you can go about doing this, but ultimately it comes down to creating a project from scratch. In my opinion, this works on both your skills development and it helps you comprehensively learn the process. Now, if you're interested in getting started in some projects, you can take a look at my video archive on this YouTube channel with different projects or you can go to my website. I have a list of projects that are entry level. Some of them are more advanced. You can go through them and you can work through them all locally within your machine. They're all free. Before I mention the last strategy, I quickly want to mention today's sponsor, Trend Micro. Trend Micro is a cybersecurity company looking to protect home users such as you and I and this guy over here. In today's evolving threat landscape, or maybe just script kiddies, okay, all jokes aside, the traditional cybersecurity defenses won't protect against the number of threats we face today. And that's where Trend Micro's premium security suite comes into the picture. So in addition to the traditional protections such as antivirus, Trend Micro premium security suite offers multiple security services in one package. The premium security service offers access to a VPN for browsing over public Wi-Fi networks, access to a password manager, dark web monitoring for any leaked passwords and emails, and mobile protection for Android and iOS devices. I think the mobile protection service is quite great because our home devices aren't just only PCs like they once traditionally were. So if you're looking to protect this guy over here and up to 10 other devices, use the promotion code in the description for 10% off. Thanks again for Termicro for sponsoring today's video and don't be that guy over there. If you're someone who is looking for a more well-developed, maybe well-refined uh, project, this strategy could be for you. The traditional idea that comes to my mind personally is contributing towards open source. You've probably heard this strategy everywhere. Using a version control hosting platform such as GitHub traditionally, you can find an open source project and contribute towards it if you are someone who is interested on the software development side of the industry. To expand upon this, there are many different open source security projects 
out on the internet. I just actually learned about a recent one called Atomic Red Team, which is a huge library of simple tests that security teams can use to test their defenses. And it's all modeled from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So this is a perfect example of something where you can contribute towards a project that is actively helping communities, companies, maybe even organizations actively test their defenses. And this is something you can contribute towards today. Community contributions can really expand upon just open source. It can go towards uh, working with your classmates in a classroom or club environment. If you're in university, high school, you could sign up for a local or virtual hackathon where you can contribute towards a team of people. Maybe that's CTF events, right? There are different types of community contributions. All of these have practical application steps that you can use. It may not be manifested traditionally in the way you think of practical application in terms of individual work, but I will say absolutely that uh, working with a team of people or working individually for community contributions really is gonna show uh, or demonstrate your character as an individual getting into the cybersecurity industry. And that's all broad. <laughs> Thanks again for Trend Micro for sponsoring today's video. It helps financially support my projects moving forward. If you are someone who needs an antivirus solution, I do recommend Trend Micro's premium security suite. Hopefully you have found this video useful in some way and helps you continue to contribute towards your learning journey. So until the next time, have a great day, continue learning, and see you in the next video.